checking out a heat pump residential unit for somebody and uh, been having some issues with it worked fine in cooling but when you put it to heat pumped right down thermal expansion valve right here worked fine in cooling but not in heat but it's got the external you know balance port I just uh, cut that tube I like to just go around a few times with this and then break it. It just went for a second and that was it. I could see that uh, this has been welded on right here before. So I, I can kind of almost guess that it's uh, welded shut in here. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to cut that out, check it out using my pinch off tool. Okay, when I uh, have the pinch off tool on that line there, and, that, and then I cut it and I had pressure trapped in here so it wasn't coming through there and you can see that's pretty wide open interestingly over here I don't see a blob right on the end it might have broke though right there was a piece left in there no it looks pretty wide open I'm sure if I uh, loosen my pinch off tool yeah it's, uh, it's not restricted any further so uh this has actually been something that can get by you, you know, and I had one kick my ass once until I figured it out, you know, that's what this was, so chances are I should be able to put a Schrader port adapter on there and see if I can find myself a flare connector on here. I don't know if I have one right now, but if I have a flare nut, I could flare it, put it on a piece of quarter inch copper, get it prepped, and then braze it on here. Put the Schrader port adapter on there, hook it up get this thing working in heat without ever even pulling a charge yeah that's the way I roll out of flare nuts and everything on my truck this afternoon so I just went ahead and stuck the equalizer tube back in there and braced it up and try to get this rounded out it seems pretty stiff it's not totally round but I'm sure it's open enough that it's got flow we'll find out when I run this sucker next time here oh man so fun Okay, and it just started up after this little delay. Still in heating, I believe. I have a reversing valve wire unplugged. This coil's getting cold, which it hasn't ran long enough to do that. That pipe's getting hot. Oh, look at that. Suction's 115 PSI. Ha! Huh. Yep. Guarantee you that was it. Uh, bring this souvenir back. You cannot blow through this at all. You can tell it's been welded on just because it's got this, you know, drip right here. I'm pretty sure factory didn't send it out like that. So somebody's probably changed that TXV out or maybe they had it out. That or maybe it just a debris got in there. Debris. That I, that might actually make more sense. They recently changed the expansion valve, evidently doing quite a bit of uh, troubleshooting because there's port added to the gas you already got the suction one and then port for each of the gas ports on the reverse valve there so uh I'm trying to narrow it down of course that doesn't do any good here right here on the liquid line you know i had full pressure and suction you know it goes into a vacuum Then on 15 on 60 it's actually gone up now I have seen these things <laughs> uh, when these have been restricted. I've seen them run for a little while and then pump down. That sucks, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. I'm gonna hook up this uh, reverse valve wire for this forgot. Let it run in cooling for a second, then I'll go actually take the thermostat wire connection jumper off. Back 
engine valve uh, sensor bulb over there. So in heating mode, it's balancing out again. Suction's actually crept up, now it's coming down a little bit. It's adjusting. More trouble than the worst. Anyway, I think it's uh, going to be good to go. Okay, all wrapped up. Pinch off tool, save the day again. I like using this one just real quick. You can use this to pinch also. Just got to crank these down, but these are what you use to round it back out. Now that little stem that comes out of there was not a true quarter inch, so that was only able to round it back out just a little bit. But time saved, so it's four o'clock, 4.05. I got here, it was almost three o'clock. So it's a little over an hour on a diagnosis and repair on this. Uh, if I would have had to pull out all the refrigerant, well, I probably would have just now got it all recovered. <laughs> so uh, definitely speeds things up. Um, I like to put in a little Schrader core, a little purge, do things like that, but I didn't have all the fittings. So um, that capillary tube so small, if there's any atmospheric pressure that might've been in there, Got it, you know, I don't think it's going to be that detrimental. Got to give the uh, filter dryer some purpose. Not to mention this thing's been worked on, I think they said seven times over the last couple of days or whatever, having issues, including that reversing valve being put in. That's saying that they didn't embrace this and raise this in for some reason, but that expansion valve wasn't recently replaced. They were, they did say it was bad, which it did look bad, but it's the way it looked when I cut it out. I don't see solder in there, but maybe some debris got knocked loose in the system from some recent repairs and it just plugged it right there. I don't know. But usually when it's right there at that stem, it's because somebody soldered it shut, but who knows. Anyway, with that, it's time to get out of here.